do. Welcome everyone. Thanks for being here. Today I am going to be ranking the 10 Pat McGrath Mothership palettes that I have. I have numbers 1 through 10. I do not have the 11th one so that won't be in this ranking um, someday. Someday I am hoping to get that. But for today I'm going to be ranking the 10 that I do have. And if you have been here before or if you've been watching past couple weeks, I've actually been doing a mothership palette look a day. So I took each one of these and I did a look with it. I filmed it um, so that I would have these all like super fresh in my mind. I hadn't been using a lot of Pat McGrath lately. Um, and I'm really glad I did this. It was, it was really fun and interesting. It was actually harder to rank them, I think, today because I have like my most recent experience sort of clashing with like my impression of the palette if that makes sense anyway it's funny I feel like it's usually been easier in the past to rank these and today it was actually super hard um because there are definitely like things that I like about some of them and then things that I don't like about it so it's like where does that fall anyway this is where it falls today if you ask me tomorrow it might be a little different although I will say I feel like the top three kind of don't change and I feel like the bottom like two like never change <laughs> kind of so I don't know I haven't I don't know what I the last time that I did a ranking was maybe a year and a half two years ago um for these I don't actually know where they fell so um this is this is where they fall today so in 10th place um <laughs> 10th place is the Mothership 3 Subversive Palette. I don't know, we just don't get along, the two of us. And you know, I love the color story. I think it's actually like super beautiful and it's just stunning to look at. Like that is so beautiful. But I just don't, I struggle with this palette. I struggle to make it look good on me. I don't know. It's just not right for me, but it is, it is so stinking pretty. Like I just, it's confusing. There's like these duo chromes that are just so beautiful. Oh, look at that. And it's kind of eighties, which I love, but I cannot get this to look good on me here. We'll swatch one shade from every palette just cause see like it's so pretty. But, um, I, I don't know. I don't know. I can't fall in love with that palette. I have tried and failed. So <laughs> that's, that's number 10. All right. And number nine, sort of a similar story. I, I can't, I just can't make friends with it. And that's the Utopian Dream palette. I will say I've made friends with it maybe a little better than subversive and love the outer packaging and the inside was not what I was expecting. I think a lot of people felt that way. Um, but this is what the inside looks like. And I still, I, I think these two shades are so beautiful, but just overall the color story doesn't it kind of looks like a bruise on my eyes. I don't know. There's something about, and if I, like, if I don't use that and I don't use that, I think that helps, but it's just kind of a, I don't know, a bruisey situation. Um, here, I'll swatch this one. It's such a, it's a pretty palette. I just, and I, like I said, I love the outer packaging of this one. Um, but it's very shiny, sparkly, like that's so pretty. I do like some shades, like this shade, but overall, just like as a palette, just doesn't do it for me. I don't know. So it's in ninth place. All right, in eighth place is Mothership number six, and this is Midnight Sun. Again, I think this is a very pretty palette. I haven't had like, I don't necessarily dislike this palette or like I haven't had a tumultuous relationship with it like I did the last two. I actually think it's very beautiful and I think you can get some really pretty looks with this. 
I think my overall feeling about this, first off, this is this shade. I want it to be really purple, I think, and it just appears sort of gray on the eye. Um, of course, it looks a little more purple there. I don't know. It's just a little lackluster or something. Um, but it is very pretty. Boy, wow. That actually, these three swatches together look really, really beautiful. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Um, I do like this palette. I think that it's a little bit more all over the place than some of them. Um, which in some ways is cool because you can get multiple different looks, but also blending things together becomes maybe a little bit more difficult sometimes. Um, I also sort of think that this particular um, color story looks maybe a little better on deeper skin tones. Um, so maybe that's one reason why I don't like it as much because I'm pretty fair and so um, I just think it's, it's not as flattering on me could be an undertone thing although I think this would this this I think this works with my undertone but I think I might be a little bit fair for this it maybe was made for a little bit deeper complexion and that's great um but for me it's not um just kind of it's not my favorite and so it's falling in eighth place and again I don't dislike it it's just not my favorite all right, next up in two, three, four, five, six, seventh place um, is the Mothership Number no. Four Decadent palette, and this one, unfortunately, just right off the bat has um, like a ding against it or like points against it because it has a scent to it. None of the other ones have a scent to it, and this one does. These shimmers are beautiful. They're so pretty. Um, but yeah, it smells like a chocolate bar. And I don't, I don't want that on my eyes. I just don't. These shades though are so beautiful. And actually the look that I did, um, I don't know, a couple weeks ago, last week. Look at that. Look at how pigmented that is. It's just so beautiful. And I did a look with just this palette. Um, so just the shimmers. And it came out, I really, really liked the look that I got with this. And so I'm impressed that an all shimmer palette can, uh, can produce a look that's like really beautiful and not, I don't know, not too over the top or not. It's like you can actually get a look that you, I would wear you could even do like this could be like a one and done shadow or this one probably probably this one I mean almost any of them so I think this is like a really useful palette and I think it might even rank higher if it didn't have that scent to it because yeah it's really pretty but I'm not always gonna reach for it because like I can't always take that that smell I don't know Ugh. I meh. I think it does dissipate a bit over time and it's not the worst smell. I just, why does it have a scent? I don't want it to have a scent. So, ah, I don't know. Also, for whatever reason, this was the only one that came in a box like this, but it has like a picture of like, I don't know. I just thought that was weird and I didn't like it. I mean, it's not a big deal, like whatever. But um, I would definitely, if you can pick this up and you like this color story like you like colorful eyeshadows I would recommend this one like it's cool it's just it's unique within the motherships and I I like it also I like the packaging the crown I couldn't get it back in the box so <laughs> ignore that but yeah it's just very very cool in sixth place moving right along I have the mothership eight divine rose two and I just, this one falls where it does because I think it is very flattering for my particular um, complexion. Looks like this. Um, 
yeah, I, I don't have much to say about this one. I don't think it's particularly special. I think when it came out, like this shade was supposed to be, you know, like a multi-chrome. And honestly, I think it just feels more like a duochrome. Like there's a definite green and a definite magenta, but it's just not that exciting, especially compared to like the indie shadows that I have. You can see sort of the flip there in the green. Um, it's very shiny. So, I mean, it's okay, but compared to some indie shadows that I have, it's just kind of very lackluster. So it's just not that special to me, for me. Also, I think it being like Divine Rose too, it was sort of in that row of just everything's pink. It was like at the beginning of the just everything was pink. Um, so it's just, it's not that exciting compared to some of the other ones for me. Um, yeah, I don't know. So that one is in sixth place. Okay, and in fifth place, this is the Mothership One Subliminal Palette. And honestly, this one I think is ranking a little higher partially because it was the first Pat McGrath product that I ever got. So I have some very fond memories. Oh, but look at that. It's just so beautiful to look at. It's so beautiful. And I can get a really nice look with these and that, that I do find this shade a little bit hard to get incorporated into the look. I don't know. I struggle with this shade a little bit. Um, and I'm not exactly sure why that is. Um, but yeah, it's just not, I don't know. I think it's a little bit lackluster for what maybe it could be or something. Like it's supposed to be, I think, the standout shade in the palette. And actually, I think these two are probably even a little more like special. Um, but yeah, just absolutely gorgeous. It is very flattering, except like I said, this shade's a little hard to incorporate into looks for me and it doesn't like really shine as blue on the eyes as I as I would like. So that's where I, this one, it's kind of right in the middle actually, because there are some things I really like about it and then there are just, honestly, it's just this blue that, that sort of gives me trouble. And I, I there are just, I like the looks that I can get with especially the top three. I don't know. This one could maybe be interchanged with the next one. Maybe not. I don't know. I can't tell. I'm leaving it where it is for now, but this is in fifth place right now. I'm also going to take this moment while I close this up to just say, I'm pretty sure that I have, you know, 10 of these. Only two of the boxes are in good shape and it's not because of me. So this is one of them and then one coming up, but like, um, I got most of them from Pat McGrath and the boxes just came kind of trashed. Like they came like this, which I didn't like. That made me kind of sad. And a couple of them that I got from Sephora were a little bit beat up as well. But like, I feel like consistently the ones that I got from the Pat McGrath website were, yeah, actually I have three that are in good shape. And that's because I got them from Sephora. So I don't know, like maybe, if you're trying to decide which one to shop from, get it at Sephora. Although Pat McGrath has like the better sales. So I don't know. So that's kind of a frustrating thing that I've experienced with these. Just FYI. I hope that construction work is not too loud. All right, moving on. So in fourth place, and this one kind of surprised me because it's a little boring maybe. Um, but this is the Mothership 7 Divine Rose, the original Divine Rose palette. And I think the thing about this one is I might recommend this one sort of the most in a certain way because it's probably the most approachable, but at the same time, that's I don't feel like that's so much what the Mothership palettes were about. You know, I think they were more sort of 
you know, dramatic and artistic and, and that. And this is like fairly basic. Um, but that said, it's pretty easy to use and it's, you know, it's very pretty in that way. Let's see, which one do we want to swatch? Maybe this one? Um, so yeah, I mean, it's definitely one that, oh, you can't really see the pink in there. It is, this is very cool though. It's like, it shines white like that, but there is this pink reflect that I can't show you for whatever reason. Um, anyways, so yeah, it's beautiful. Um, but in like a more subtle way, which I like that it's wearable, but also it's not scoring super high because a ranking, ah, it's actually pretty high, it's fourth, but it's not at the very top because it's just not as interesting to me. Um, but yeah, some soft, um, pretty looks with this one. Okay, in third place is the Mothership 2 Sublime Palette. And I've probably said this every time I've done my rankings, but I wasn't even going to buy this one. Like, it didn't interest me. I was like, mm, it's okay. But then I kind of started collecting the motherships, and I had a bunch of them by this point. And so I was like, all right. So I just picked it up. Um, maybe they, there was a sale or something. Anyways, um, it looks like this. And it's funny, because when I opened it up, I was like, oh, oh, that's actually extraordinary like it's so beautiful um this reminds me of the wizard of oz except which makes me very happy except that what's it's weird because this is green to purple and i don't sometimes i wish it was just green in a way it's like a green to purple duochrome which is very like wicked witch of the west to me but um yeah, ooh, and this is like a pink to gold. I don't know, this palette is just, it's just super flattering. Like, if I, if I use this palette, I kind of can't make it look bad on me. So, I think that's why it's in third place. I just, every time I use it, it, it turns out very flattering. So, there's that green to purple shade. I don't know if you can see the flip at all. Those blues look so pretty. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, so this one is just, and you know, this is a little bit silly. I like, and this, this really didn't have a lot to do with the ranking, but I like the old packaging, how everything was different. Everything was unique at first. Um, like, I don't know. I mean, this and then this and then or this was first and then this one and they're like so different and then the third one was again just like a totally different style and I liked that and then as the years went on we were getting sort of I don't know they just weren't as unique I mean whatever that's not that's not the biggest deal but um and like I said I'm not really even ranking it on it it's just a comment that I'm sure other people have noticed as well. Anyways, okay, the second palette in my ranking, so ranking number two, is the Mothership 10. So this is the newest one that I have, and I think I got it a year ago. I don't remember when this came out. Um, I think it was longer than that. I don't know, maybe it was two years ago. What is time? <laughs> Anyways, it is what is on my eyes today. And I just find it very, very easy to use and so flattering. It's just so easy. It's easy to get like, and I think it's, it, it's pretty neutral. Like, there are some shades that are a little bit on the cooler side. We have this, 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 that. And then there are some warmer 
but they all are like fairly close to neutral um which maybe that's why but yeah I just find that the looks that I get this one that I get with this one are very flattering I don't know there's just something so like sultry in a really like classy way I don't know I just feel sophisticated or something um and that's what's on did I say that's what's on my eyes today uh yeah it's just it's super pretty. In fact, it's interesting because there's a part of me that it almost reminds me of the Xenon palette. Something about it. It's like you have those cool tones with kind of the pinky um, undertones on some of the shimmers. And with this one, you actually have like, you know, like the rosy, rosy tone here and in the matte as well. So yeah, I just really love the way that looks turn out with this one. It's just always flattering. This one's another one that it's kind of hard to mess up and it has this super deep shade um, and kind of cooler, but it's not black. I don't know. I just really, really, this one speaks to me. Let's see. What should we swatch here? Should we do the duochrome? I just don't care about it. <laughs> oh, it's. Yeah, after going and using indie makeup, I just, these are not as exciting. Mm, yeah, I mean, I guess, I guess let's just go ahead. I don't know what else to do. <laughs> it's very sparkly. So it's shiny. It's pretty. Um... But yeah, I mean, I don't use Pat McGrath for the duochromes. And honestly, I wonder if I would get into Pat McGrath today or not. That's an interesting question. I don't know. I don't know. But now I'm invested. I'm I'm a collector. So, you know. I mean, to be fair, they are good palettes. They're expensive. But um they are they're quite they're quite beautiful. You can get pretty good, pretty good stuff out of them. Okay. And if you know the Pat McGrath palettes, you probably know what's coming next. My number one palette, and I think this has ranked number one before, um, this is Mothership 5 Bronze Seduction. I think this is just so well done. Um, it's, it's, it's another one just like the last two where I cannot make this look bad. Like if I put this palette on my eyes, I'm going to feel good. Like I can't mess this one up. Um, and I really like that. It's just so, it's so beautiful. Yeah, you just can't mess it up. That's why it's number one. I've also, you know, it's interesting. I think I have seen so many reviews where people have rated, ranked this number one, maybe not recently. Um, and I know this came out, you know, several years ago now. I don't remember. Was it 2019? Maybe? I don't, I don't actually know. But I think it won like, you know, the Allure Award. Um... But yeah, every, every shade in here is beautiful. This one, I guess we'll, we'll swatch this. I feel like it's, it's pretty. It's, I don't know. Like, I feel like a lot of people have done this shade by this point. Um, but that's. That's the shade in this one that stands out to me as sort of characterizing the palette. But also, I don't know that I always, I don't always use it when I use this palette. It's almost like, I just, I really like that this is the deepest shade, that it's kind of purple. That's always very flattering. Um, yeah, these are, it's all just, it's very beautiful. I think that I've seen this palette on quite a range of um like complexions and um like undertones and like range from fair to deep skin tones so 
I think this one is pretty universally flattering, although, you know, I can really only speak from my point of view, um, and it does work for me. Um, but yeah, this is not what I'm wearing. I'm looking at my face like, oh, what, what else do I want to say about it? But yeah, basically, number one, and I've said this like three times now, um, it's because I cannot mess it up. I put this on my face. It's going to be attractive. It's going to be beautiful. So this is just so well curated. The color story is mwah, so good. So beautiful. And the shadows just work really well. It's a good one. They're all good palettes. I will say I am so curious. Okay, this is what I want to know. With Utopian Dream and because obviously we're all gonna have a different opinion about this and I think a lot of it has to do with just our experience with it you know um our uh predilections our what we like in makeup you know our different uh tastes and things but if you like these two palettes if one of these is like your top palette what is your undertone? Like, do you have a pink undertone? Because this does not look good on me. In my opinion. I just, I find them so much harder to work with. So I'm so curious. If these are in your top two, do you have a pink undertone? Um, I'm also curious. If this one is your favorite, do you have a deeper complexion than me? Because um, that's a theory that I have. But obviously, I don't know. What else? Oh, yeah. If... Basically, if you like my top three, if one of these is your favorite, do you have a yellow undertone? Or like, what's your, um, what's your skin tone and undertone? I'm just so curious because, you know, I can only go from my experience and like, there are just such clear winners for me. Cause like I said, I cannot mess those like top three, especially these two though. Like I can't mess them up. I can't make them look bad. Um, whereas these two I cannot make look good so like what is that well that was the Pat McGrath mothership ranking of 2024 I might rank them again if and when I get the um 11th mothership palette but that you know it'll probably be a year or something anyway because maybe Black Friday I don't know there would have to be a pretty big sale but I do want that palette um and I'm sort of curious like what's she gonna come up with next and when um I know like with this one I feel like we all wanted something more colorful I do I'm curious I want to see um but maybe that's what the holiday palettes are for anyway please tell me your favorite mothership palette and why um and tell me if I need the 11th one I mean I'm, I'm gonna get it anyways let me know what your favorite mothership palette is in the comments and I hope you're having a good day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Keep on the sunny side, always on the sunny side. Keep on the sunny side alive. It will help us every day. It will brighten all the way. If we keep on the sunny side alive.